If you ever wonder what's inside a gas tank, I'll show you. In the center of the bottom, there's a pan. And you always wonder what happens when I'm out of gas. Well, what happens is this pan runs out of gas. The gas tank still has plenty of gas in it. This is a baffle. It's made to keep the gas from sloshing around too much. Back inside here is a vent in the top. I assume it's a vent. And the bottom is probably part of the gas gauge. It's in the back side over here. There's where the gas comes in. And the what the pan is for is your fuel pump sits in the bottom of this pan and as you go in you get gas on a daily basis you get rust and sediment and junk out of this pan or out of the gas pumps and out of the ground that pan separates all your sediment so instead of pumping it all into your fuel filter it gets kind of sorted and left on the outside and the gas goes to the inside now, if you ever hear a story about someone that turns water into gas, and they put water into a gas tank, and the car magically starts, and it's not running on water, they're pouring gas into the outside of the tank, the gas floats in the water, and the water pours into the pan, and you get to go a little further down the road. I don't recommend pouring water into your gas tank, that's just bad news. However, if you are really low on gas and your car starts to sputter and try to die, you can rock your car back and forth and slosh more gas into that pan. I've personally had to do it and it got me to a gas station. But, don't have a wreck and don't get a ticket.